Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to do zoning in the new Cisco Nexus Dashboard SAN controller. To begin, click on Virtual Management on the left hand side pane and under that you can see the Zoning tab. This is the main landing page for zoning. Here you can see that the zone sets in the database are listed according to the fabric that we have selected and the vSAN that we have selected here. So for this video, I will be using this particular fabric and vSAN 1. So as of now, the zoning database has one active zone set and another zone set in there. To create a new zone set, click on Actions and click on Create New Zone Set. After entering a valid name, click on Create Zone Set. You can see the new zone set that you have created. Enable the radio button, go to Actions and click on Edit Zone and Members. Now you click on Actions and create a new zone. And click on create new zone select the zone that we just created and on the right hand side under the members pane click on actions and add existing members here you can select the members that you want to add to your zone you have the option to add them in the form of wwns or device alias or fc alias in this video we will just use the wwns and click on add members You also have the option of creating new members. This can be done in the form of WWNs, device alias, domain and port, switch and port and many more. Now select the zone that you just created and click on add to zone set. Close this window. Now select the zone set that we created and now you can see the active zone set button enabled. Click on it. Click on the confirm button to activate the zone set. Now you can see the new zone set has activated. You can click on edit zone and you can change the members if you want. Under the actions, you also have options to deactivate, delete, as well as rename the zone set. So this is how we do zoning in the new Nexus dashboard SAN controller. Thank you.